to another video now. It is time to come back to Sakura Succubus 2 once again. Now, around midday, I get up and leave my room. I decide to go for a walk. Not in the Roy King Garden, charming though it is, but in a scenic mountain which surrounds the inn. I thought it would make a nice change of pace. Uh, though I like the garden uh, at the Roy King, it can get a bit restrictive. I feel like I can think more clearly out here. The dirt path is lined with tall green maple trees. The distinctive leaves sway above my head. The trees are thick and only a few bands of sunlight can penetrate down to the flower floor below. It's very pretty. It's rare to see the sight like this back in Tokyo. I should go to the countryside more often. With each step I take, twigs and leaves crack. You know, twigs and leaves crack underfoot. From a distance, I hear rustling in the undergrowth. Maybe it's a squirrel or a rabbit. Well, whatever they are, they're elusive, and I can't see them. Ah! Uh, I inhale long full of clean air and do my best to fight off my essential fatigue. Feels nice to sleep whenever I want, but I might have relaxed a little too much this morning thanks to Afumi's thighs. I'm afraid if I spent too much time with her, I'll turn into a lazy pile of sludge. I can't let Afumi look after all my needs. And I don't want to sleep my vacation away either. It's so rare I get to come to the countryside. I should do more stuff with my time. I want to explore and take some photos and talk with Marina, you, and Cosmos. And speaking of which, that figure over there, I can make out the shape of a person in the distance. They have very long silver hair and they're wearing a tailored business suit. It doesn't seem very practical for scaling such terrain. But then again, what high class woman would care about practicality more than fashion? Though she's wearing a pair of very high heels, all red and glossy, she seems perfectly stable. It's definitely Marina. Hey, Marina! I call after her, my voice echoing through the forest. Marina pauses, which gives me ample time to catch up with her. I jog to her side, my forehead a little flushed, and greet her with a smile. I feel like I haven't had much, much of a chance to talk to you. How have you been? Better now, after seeing you. I'm sorry if I've been acting distinct. I've had to field important business emails all trip. I told my employees I would be leaving for a vacation. I asked them not to bother me, but well, she sighs and shakes her head. I am a very popular woman. Too popular, in fact. Yeah. Whenever the slightest problem arises, my user's cohorts all come to cry to me. It sounds like your workers would be lost without you. Yes, indeed. I'm indispensable. That sounds like a boast, but Marina doesn't look too happy with, about her elevated status. In fact, she seems irritated. It isn't just my workers who want to monopolize my time, either. I've been neglecting an important trade deal with my rival company and their president is keen to speak to me for all hours of the day. I was talking to him earlier this morning for almost two hours. Can you credit it? With so much work to do, I feel like I'm back in the office. The scenery might have changed, but I'm still working a full nine to five shift here. In fact, I'm working more than ever. 
I didn't get to sleep until midnight yesterday. I was too busy sorting through my mail. Oh, jeez. I pull a face. And here I was being grumpy because my boss was sending me a couple of work-related messages during my trip. Sounds like you have way more on your plate than I do. I can't even imagine how busy Marina must be. She looks cool and competent at all times, but she must let a very stressful life. It's a wonderful... She has the time to style her hair and put it on her makeup in the mornings. Oh, don't worry, dear. Nobody likes thinking about work when they're on the holidays. I can't blame you for being upset. But I have a f far fewer responsibilities than you. I'm only a photographer. Now, now. I won't have to talk you down. I won't have you talk down to yourself. Marina plants her head on her hips. Her expression stern. You work hard to earn a living just as I do. My job might be more stressful than yours. But it ain't a competition. I value regardless. And you forget. I have spoken to your boss before. I have first-hand knowledge of his ways. Quite the indocious individual. I do not blame him. Blame you for disliking him. Okay, I'm really having a hard time speaking. Audacious, huh? That's a pretty good word. Thanks, Marina. It's no problem. I was feeling quite frustrated myself. But seeing you has lightened my mood. Shall we walk up for a bit? Sure. I fall in step alongside Marina. She winds her arms about mine, pressing her bosom to my arm. We canvas the dusty forest like this. Arms interlinked. Ever, every once in a while, we pause to examine the natural beauty stern strewn around about us jesus i i swear i forget this is a novel <laughs> so in case you guys haven't figured out i was trying to like figure out why my the english was fucked up in this from the last one but then i realized it's a goddamn novel so obviously the wording is different oh well done though marina spends most of her time in her office she's surprisingly knowledgeable about the natural world. Jesus, I <laughs> almost fucked that up. She can identify birds solely by the sound of their cell of their calls. I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> and she knows the names of all the trees around us. Is there anything Marina can't do? The minutes trickle like by like this slow and unhurried but I am a little curious are you sure this is all right I don't want to take up too much of your time what if you get into an important phone call oh don't worry about that I left my phone in my room I don't want to be disturbed by my every walk waking hour or I'd go insane I've been so busy working I simply had to leave my room and get some fresh air. So, that's why you were walking through the forest. Yes, indeed. I'm in dire need of a break. If anyone deserves to take a break, Marina, it's you. <laughs> you are kind, dear. Marina giggles as she inches even closer against my body. Say, hey, Hiroki. Yes. I was just thinking, now that the two of us are alone, it almost feels like we're going on a date. I guess it does, yeah. Would this be our first date? You know what? I think it might be. We met in the bar on numerous occasions, but I've taken you to my office before. But we've never gone out like this before. It's so still and silent. Marina pauses. She glances around the forest, her jade eyes shining. My irritating younger sisters can't interrupt us now. I'll have you all to myself, darling. 
I'm, I'll gladly give myself up to you. Though, if Cosmos finds out, she might be jealous. She already claimed me as her boyfriend. Then it's a good thing. I don't, I don't want you to be my boyfriend. That is such a childish term. Too old for it. I would far more rather call you my partner. Partner? I say the word aloud. Testing how it sounds. It's definitely more mature than boyfriend. Though it does put me in the mind of business mergers and meanings. Is that alright? Wouldn't mind being my partner. <laughs> I see your expression there, lady. Of course I would. Oh no, I wouldn't mind. I'd be honored. Good. Then let's continue on our date. Since it's my first, I expect you to treat me well. Well, I'll do my best. <sighs> I wish I could I could have taken you someplace fancier, though. Like where? Well, I don't know. Maybe a fancy restaurant or out dancing. I'd like to go out dancing with you at some point, but this is more enough to make me happy. Sometimes the simple things in life are the best. Moreover, Marina's lips with the reason. Darissa, I doubt you have enough money to take me to any of the fine establishments in Tokyo I often frequent. <laughs> I laugh awkwardly. I guess you're right about that. I can't. I can hardly afford to look after myself. Some months, monies are so tight I can live on instant noodles. Is that so? Marina purrs her lips together. That doesn't sound very nutritious. No wonder you're so skinny. I don't think I'm that skinny. You are for a man your height. You need to fatten up for a bit. Marina pokes with one of her manicured nails it tickles but I and I flinch away I hope you've been taken advantage by Hifumi's cooking you knew Hifumi's been working here well of course Hifumi and I are very close she told me everything she almost told me that you and her came to quite an understanding <laughs> earlier today is that true oh uh yeah that's right we uh did a bit of talking. Talking, is it? Marina raises an eyebrow. Is that what you call it this day these days? How quaint. <laughs> I can tell by Marina's tone that she knows everything that happened earlier. Wait a minute, what? You wanna run that by me again? This woman's really sharp. You uh I gave Marina a quizzle look. You don't mind, do you? Of course not. That would be very hy hypocritical of me. I'm a slicky bitch after all. So he fucking did. Okay. I thought he just took a nap. Am, am I... Okay, please tell me in the comments. Am I getting this wrong here? Because I'm, I'm feeling like they... Either they did it or he just... He just got a massage from her. That's all I'm... I'm that's all I'm fucking... I, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <sighs> You're not the first man I've been with. Though you are the first I've ever thought of. As a partner, I care for you a good deal, darling, but I'm not the jealous sort. I don't want to begrudge Hifumi a good time. I'm glad that you two were able to enjoy yourselves. Oh, so he did. Never mind. Never mind. I get it. Yeah. So, we're in for a interesting scenario. <sighs> It's gonna be hard to try to explain this to Cosmos. God damn it. Oh, all right, that's a relief. <laughs> if A, you, and Cosmos do, they'd be pissed. Well, they're immature. You are Cosmos' very first partner, and A, you has always been perceptive. They will grow in time. Soon, I'm sure they'll come to learn that love is even better if you share with those you care for. I mean, she got a point. 
<laughs> She's got a point though. I ain't gonna hold you, G. <laughs> She's got a point. Like, do I do I lie about that though? Like, can I be serious? Like, is she lying? Is she really lying? Come on. I hope so. But it seems like they've had a personal vendetta against Hifumi. Oh yes. Well, they would. Hifumi wasn't always the sweet, mild-mannered woman I, you know today. In the past, she was even more forceful than I. Really? I did not expect that. Uh, what was the old Hifumi like? Was she a leather-clad demo demonatrix? Excuse me. Uh, wielding a whip? I kind of like to see that. But the current Hifumi, with those housewifey ways, seems much easier to deal with. Yes, indeed. She has changed a lot. I used to have my own grips with with uh, Fumi, but my feelings toward her have since changed. Now I value and respect her friendship. I want her to be happy. But uh, you and Cosmos are young, and they still hold grudges. They cannot forgive her. That is why they want to keep you away from her. If you want to ask Kafumi about it, I'm sure she'll go into a bit more detail. Now it makes sense why she was acting like that. Like, like I don't get me wrong, I love Cosmos, but this is just ridiculous. If this is what's happening, then of course, then that's clear that she's just being childish. Don't get me wrong, I love Cosmos, but she's going to have to mature eventually. I can't keep having her to deal with this. Maybe I will. That sounds like a good idea. It's always best to get these things out in the open. Honesty is the best policy, or so I believe. Though I'm not the sort of woman who would share the secrets of others, I am no gossip. I said gossip. Gossip. Let me speak. I didn't think. I didn't think you were. I know you're trustworthy. You're good at keeping secrets. It comes with experience, dear. Now, I've been away from my work for too long. I shudder to think of how many missed calls I have when I get back. I should return to the Voikin, but before that, I have something to tell you. Oh, what is it? I had hoped to spend a whole weekend to the countryside with you, but I was too optimistic. Various matters have come up with which required my urgent attention. As such, I need to return to Tokyo tomorrow morning. I've already booked my train. What? You mean you're leaving already? Yes, I am. It pains me to be parted from you, dear, but don't fret. We shall see one another again soon enough. I admit I'm a bit upset we weren't able to spend more time together, but I am pleased we were able to have a little talk at least. All the same. Marina's eyes narrow. I'm not a jealous woman, but I can be quite selfish at times. I know that you have been with Hifumi. That in itself does not bother me, but I would appreciate it if you could show me some love before my departure. Anything for you, my dear. I feel like I deserve it for working so hard. If you can find it in your heart to give my spirits a little bit of boost, I know it'll be able. I'll be. I know I'll be able to return to my work with all my energy restored. I shall record. I, I shall. <laughs> I shall work at full capacity and complete all my tasks before my deadlines. That's is how potent your love is, Hiroki. Sure. You got it. <laughs> oh, Marina, you sly fox. I step a little closer to Marina. I wipe my arms around her waist, her chest press up against my own. Her hair brushing against my face. I'm slightly taller than Marina, but not by much. Her green eyes bore into mine. Shining like emeralds. Marina's 
proportions might be impressive, but I think her eyes are the most attractive feature. That was exactly what I was saying from the beginning. I was saying that from the beginning. Did I not say that from the beginning when I first talked about this? I was saying the same thing, G. They're coy and mischievous, almost cat-like, and they're utterly captivating. I'm giving you all the affection I can. I might have been with Fumi, but that doesn't lessen my feelings for you. I care all of your sekai equally. And I want to make you all happy. All of us, you say? Marina's voice drops to a soft, seductive whisper. You ought to be careful, darling, or you'll burn yourself out. We suck you by her. Very, very demanding. It's fine. I'm used to your demands. I can take it. Really? Marina grins. You're so confident. I like that in a man. You really are something special. You smell good, too. I had almost forgotten how delightful you are. Maybe I should have asked you to claim me now in this forest. Doesn't that sound exciting? <laughs> you guys know my my first one. I love Cosmos. She's young, but at the same time, Marina's a lot more mature. She gets me, so. I'll be down for that for sure. What? what? Marina blinks. I didn't think sh she was expecting this response because her cheeks turned pink. You really mean it? Why not? I love being with you. I'd embrace you anyway. Anywhere. Oh my, you're even bolder than I thought. I'm supposed to be the succubus, but your taste is, might be more devious than my own. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I feel somewhat flustered. How the fuck? Bitch, I've been flustered the entire time. You really want to start this shit? I don't want to hear it. Good. I'm glad I was able to surprise you. Isn't that an important part of any relationship? Yes, indeed. I would hate our interaction to grow dull and lose their luster. You're quite the catch, Hiroki. <laughs> Marina giggles and presses a quick kiss to my lips. I myself would love to be closer to you than we are already, but Marina takes a step back her cheeks faintly pink. I don't think it would be a good idea if we went through with my suggestion. It would be incredibly unhygienic. I don't want to get twigs and leaves anywhere. And what if anybody saw us? You didn't think I was I was serious, do you? What? No. Uh, of course not. Are you certain? Marina's eyes flicker across my body. She laughs. Is she teasing me? Her wistful, lovey dovey talk earlier threw me off! So I almost forgot. She really is a sadist. Well, no shit, motherfucker. This is what I was talking about. Well, never mind that now. I shall meet you in my room later tonight for my farewell party. I'll be sure to bring some good alcohol, too. Doesn't that sound like fun? I guess that does sound nice, so yeah. I knew it. <laughs> Remember, dear. Good things come from those who wait. Look forward into it, dear. I know I will. And with an airy laugh, Marina walks away. Her back fades away from sight until I can't see her. Ah, <sighs> jeez. I lean back against a near body. My body is weak. And fan my face with one hand. And I'm... Inefficiently, I might add. I am fucking trying. Dude, I haven't turned on my goddamn AC. And... She is making me, you know what, no. I'm taking my goddamn shirt off, fuck this shit. Hold on. No, fuck this shit, dude. I'm not doing this. <sighs> fuck this shit, G. Fuck that, nah. You got me fucked up. I had to waste my time for that shit, you crazy. Nah, man, I I'm literally hot in this goddamn room. The fact that she even did that shit made it worse. I'm fucking done. <sighs> now I feel all worked up. This evening can't come soon enough. 
anyways, I'm gonna I'm go and calm down for a bit and turn on the AC. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I really appreciate every single one of y'all for tuning into this video and just witnessing what I've just witnessed myself. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. <laughs> Leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me in the comments what you guys think. Hit that subscribe button and join the notification. Uh, join the Iron High today by hitting that notification bell. This is that, guys. Later.